We are at Northport Oval. We've played uh, Port Melbourne uh, as our fifth game of the year, so it must be around six. Uh, we've gone down in the end by, I think it's about 15 or so points. Uh, unfortunately, they hit the first six goals of the game, and I think it quarter time was six goals to one or something like that. So we did a pretty good job to work our way back into the game, but um, it was a pretty ordinary start, and, and we always sort of struggled to get back into the game from there. The fact that the game started, I think, was probably what didn't go well for us, Mitch. We just, uh, you know, people look into it and say, did we not come off the bye too well, all those kinds of things. Um, but I think sometimes, just unfortunately, uh, things aren't right. Uh, you know, one of the players during the first quarter made the comment when they're on the bench that, um, you know, this intensity was a higher intensity. The heat was on, for his exact words, and, and a higher level than any game we've played thus far. And uh, to be honest, it probably just looked like we weren't quite ready for it. So, you know, you look at that, you come off a 10-goal win, then you have a week off, and then you come up a, a team who are playing a heat that, you know, the players themselves so haven't um, seen this year. Uh, probably goes, you know, we were fumbling a lot, missing a lot of easy targets. And before we knew it, really, like the game was almost beyond us. So we did really well to, to stay in touch and fight. And, you know, we got within a couple of goals a couple of times. But having said that, it probably did feel like they always had us at, had us at arm's length and uh, were reasonably comfortable despite the fact we got back to 15 or so points. We certainly thought that, you know, two players that stood out for us were Spencer and Clark. Uh, so Spencer playing at fullback on Jordan Lyle, who... Uh, he's one of the best ruck, but, but, sorry, the best forwards in the competition. Uh, has been for a number of years. He's been a really good VFL forward. He played a lot of AFL footy initially. Uh, so with Dan Nielsen going out, um, you know Max Spencer had a really good, solid game playing on him. And um, Angus Clark, uh, you know, he had a pretty good first month of the season. And again today, we thought uh, physically he competed well. He got a little bit of the ball and, and just gave us a solid contest. So those two were probably the two standouts. Um, but again, unfortunately today we just had a, a number of players who. Uh, we're just below the, the level that um, they would expect for themselves. So we've got Footscray next week at midday, uh, and then uh, we've got the mid-season ball next Saturday night, Mitch. So last year we had a really nice win. We beat Box Hill the first of two times that we beat them, and they ended up winning the, the Premiership. So again, we'll play Footscray. They'll be a really strong team. Uh, hopefully the boys are keen to kick the heels back and have a good night at the ball, and it'll uh, transfer into a, pretty, a bit of... Uh, you know, a really good solid effort and try and uh, celebrate the ball or be out the ball celebrating a win. Uh, but we just need to get back to the basics of footy, fumbling, hitting simple targets, um, just hardness around the footy. So that's what we need to get back to. That's how we'll be working throughout the week. Uh, again, we saw in the final three quarters that, you know, the game was pretty much even. Um, and if anything, we, we edged it, getting back to within a couple of goals. It was just, unfortunately, from the start, we, we weren't weren't at the races today, as they say. So uh, if we can pick that up next week and really come out from the first bounce and play the brand of footy we want to play, we're still confident that we can match it with the best teams in the comp.